Hi guys, uh, today I'm going to teach you how to write a BC program on MATLAB. So here I'm using MATLAB 2013 version A. My version number is 8.10.604 which is 2013 A version. Then I'm, uh, I'm going to first the first step you have to take open edi editor window which is also called as script file. This is editor window this complete empty editor window now start any program with the three basic commands which is clc clear all close all commands suppose you are doing any program in matlab you have to use these three basic commands for to to remove the temporary data from previous files means whatever the temporary data is available in your previous program is done by someone or by you you have to remove those kind of temporary data you have to use this all three suppose if you are not using these three commands in your MATLAB program then there is a chances of to get a syntax errors or programming errors so definitely you have to use these three commands so that these three commands is must for any MATLAB program. Now start. How to write? Once this three command is completed, and I, now I'm going to I'm going for sign program. That is zero. I'm taking first initializing time period C, which is a T is zero colon zero point zero five colon C five semicolon put here semicolon then y is equal to sign of t sign of t and again go for semicolon and i'm going first i'm going for stem which is discrete manner say y and go for simulation process first we go for simulation process later we discuss I'll save any program with dot m extension which is a for a uh, sign then enter sign yeah this is we call a sign program now let's explain each and everything step by step these three commands use it for to remove the temporary data from temporary location files and I've written here t is equal to 0 colon 0 0.5 0 0.05 colon 10 means that t is a, a starting value let's check it out here suppose say t is equal to 0 colon 0 0.05 colon i will turn 5 check out this one with semicolon we can't get any value because it is with semicolon means the value will be stored without semicolon the value will will store as well as the value will display means the t value should be 1 into 101 double cases these are the cases suppose i have write uh, if i take size of size of t will use this is the size number then this is 1 into 101 so one row 101 columns the value will be started from at the zero zero position let's check it out here zero final position is a five here so this is uh, the final value is five and final value is five starting value is a zero here the starting value is a zero here and remaining each and every value which is ex increased by 0 0.05 means starting value is zero second value is 0 0.05 and third value is 0 0.1 then continues 0 0.15 0 0.2 0 0.25 0 0.3 and so on up to five this is the me meaning of the time period and y is equal to sine t it is a trigonometric function in the sign or you can take cos tan cot whatever it is you you want so here my intention is i need to i need to display the output window in terms of sine form this is completely sine form starting at zero and ending some extension here so time period should be in between zero to ten and 
stim is a, a discrete number, a discrete plot. So y is a waveform. So when I go for uh, continuous plot, then I use plot command, and again I will simulate it, and I will get continuous form. So better I suggest use stem only. And if you want to change the color of your uh, plot, you can go for you can change the color. This is the format of uh, to change the color. And we have here eight colors here. So the starting color should be the red. And if you want to change the color, uh, go for C, C for cyan, C for cyan color, and M for magenta. This kind of we have a eight total eight colors in MATLAB software that we are supported. By default, it is uh, blue color. Is the way, and then. And you can have semicolons also, no problem. So in the MATLAB, semicolons is, is used for mainly displaying the value. Just say is equal to, say A is equal to 49. So it without semicolon, it gives the value. Suppose A is equal to 49 with semicolon, it will not give, but the value will be stored here. That is the use of semicolon. Then I'm going for designing, designing this bigger window so I'm adding x-axis this one and this one is y-axis and here is the title which is needed here then go for first how to design x-axis No check out. Once the value is entered over, no check out. Here the title I given, sign wave generation in terms of discrete and y, y axis is amplitude and x axis is the time period. This is the way of the first program you have to write it. Suppose if you want to write any uh, comment here, then use a, a percentile and we can write a comment also here. Means the title of program. That is sign wave generation in discrete mode. This is the way of you can write, you can uh, design the program. And you can write it completely for any command. So after the command, you can write this one is a time period, a sign, and next for it, writing this one is a trigonometric function and uh, this one goes to discrete function discrete function for plotting purpose yeah and this one is the x axis, and this one is y axis. This one, and final one is the title. And output is this one. 